Welcome to the Luminex Group. I'm John Messer. Thanks for checking in with us today. Today we're going to look at a really essential discipline for your church to become a learning organization. Today, let's talk about team learning. Why is team learning so important for learning organizations? Well, that's a really important question. Um, first, we need to know there's a logical connection between the five disciplines of learning organizations, and it really all starts with team learning. You know, the quality of communication and relationships is what team learning is about. And that impacts the quality of thinking, our mental models, and that impacts the quality of our actions, our planning, in other words, our systems thinking, and that ultimately impacts our results, our visioning, and that requires personal mastery and shared vision. So team learning is foundational. What is it? Well, it's generating collective insight by transforming how your group thinks and interacts together. It's really about communication. It's about the style of your communication. It's about improving your communication skills, which usually means better ways of telling. Team learning is about full, open, and multiple channels for communication by balancing discussion with dialogue and advocacy with inquiry. So, in other words, team learning is all about dialogue. That's the key word to me, dialogue, which allows team members to express their perspectives more freely and honestly. And that kind of authentic conversation really builds mutual respect and trust. It also increases the quality of your relationships. Because, let's be honest, too often we tend to come to team meetings ready to debate, ready to argue for our point or to prove that we're right. But debate does not promote learning together. Debate tends to divide. It shuts down creativity and innovation, and nobody wants to be in that kind of a dynamic. Nobody wants to share honestly when they expect they're going to be told how wrong they are or how that'll never work. Dialogue, on the other hand, builds relationships because it builds healthy communication. Trust deepens relationship and respect for people's perspectives. So how do we achieve team learning? Well, as I just discussed, we need to move from debate to dialogue. We can shift from a stance of knowing to a stance of learning. So rather than expecting that we need the right knowledge or the right amount of knowledge, which will solve all of our problems, we can take a learner stance. Learners are open to being influenced. They're, they welcome new possibilities and are willing to consider ideas they had never thought about before. But probably most importantly, they're willing to unlearn what they have wrong. And they're willing to hear that what they have might be wrong. So a shift in mental models that expects that we should have all the answers and moving to inviting questions is key. It's moving from being reactive problem solvers to creative problem solvers. To me, team learning is closely related to discernment because both require an openness to new concepts, hearing things that we don't already know, and allowing others to influence us. And when we're thinking about how the Holy Spirit communicates and influences us as Christians, isn't team learning very similar? So if we get better at team learning, we'll get better at discernment. Engaging that skill of team learning will increase your quality of communications. It'll raise the quality of your team relationships and ultimately it will contribute to achieving your desired outcomes. And guess what? You might become better at discerning and that's a great benefit for all organizations. Hey, thanks for joining me today. This is the Luminex Group and I'm John Messer. See you next time.